step of course is to launch up the program and then we're going to connect our device then it's going to connect to my device and once it's connected it's going to bring up all of these options here let's go ahead and take a look at what these mean so first we have deleted data from the device this is information that we can recover that has been deleted in the past. So say we deleted a photo last year and we're looking to recover that, this would be where we want to go. For existing data on the device, this just means that basically anything that's on the phone right now, we can get off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect everything by clicking on select all. Let's go ahead and look for some existing data. We're gonna see what's on here. So I'll go ahead and click on voice memos, voicemails and documents and click on start scan. And now it's going to analyze my iOS device. And then it's going to start scanning our device. And once that is complete, it's gonna pop up all of the files it found. In this case, it found a voice memo. If you brought up photos or something, you'll be able to preview those. But to recover this file, what we're going to do is select it and click on recover to computer. And we'll select a location. And then we'll click on recover. And all of those files will be saved into this folder. And likewise, if we want to look for deleted data, we can do the same thing. Select anything we want to recover, and then click on Start Scan, and the same process will happen. And this time we found a bunch of calendar events, some of them from the year 2025, which is a bit strange. But from here we can also recover these by selecting them, and then clicking on Recover to Computer. And again, selecting the location and clicking on Recover. And now those files will be saved into there in an HTML file. That is it for this tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you recover data from your iOS device.